We're talking here about modern frameless chess boards. I've got two to show you here. This is the Man Ray board. It's the it's a board that is officially um, you know authorized by the Man Ray Trust. It is made specifically to go with Man Ray's design of chessmen. And I've got one that is um, not particularly authorized by anybody, but it's also a very good board. And I'd like to show you both of them, um, compare them, show you a few different sets on the boards so you see what they're like. Let's talk about what the boards are made of. Both of them have a fiberboard core. Okay, um, this one is made so it looks as if it's made of, you know, separate blocks of natural wood and stained dark wood. But in fact, um, it's on the bottom, it's a uh, plain veneer. It's got a uh, felt pads there to protect the table, protect the board too, and um, and it's got veneer on all surfaces including those edges. Now this also has veneer on all surfaces. Um, you'll see that it's definitely narrower than this one is. This one I was uh, measuring it, it's just a half an inch thick, and this one is more like um, five eighths inch thick. You know, it's a small difference, but you can see that this gives you that, you know, made of blocks kind of look. Either one is a very nice board. And uh, that's one of the things I want to uh, emphasize is that they're different styles, but they're both very good. It was, as I was saying, they both have a fiberboard core. So they're actually, the inside of this, you know, underneath the veneer, which appears on all sides, is made of fiberboard, and this also has pads on the corners. These happen to be made of rubber, you know. And there's um, there's a few good reasons for them to be made of fiberboard. First of all, you you really want the wood grain because you want to see it, so you don't have to you know look all through it. You just need a thin grain on the top to enjoy the um, aspect of that wood grain. Um, so then it's going to use less of the wood that's going to be better ec ecologically because uh, you're not cutting down you know ten times as many trees um, of you know which may may be rare and uh, endangered expensive whatever um, so it's good ecologically it's it makes the board more affordable but also the fiber board doesn't have a grain which tends to warp or crack in certain ways so these boards will stay straight, flat, and intact probably longer than a board the same thickness which would be made of just that kind of wood through and through. Um, also, uh, nowadays, I wanted to mention, if you have an old uh, inlaid board, like maybe 50 years old or, or more, you'll notice that some of the, uh, the, the little squares that are made of will start to bend, they'll, they'll They'll shrink, they'll warp a little bit, they'll become detached from each other. They've got the technology down much better nowadays. So these boards that you get nowadays, they're called inlaid or veneer, um, they're going to last a long time and stay in the condition in which they were originally intended. So the Man Ray board, this was uh, authorized by the Man Ray estate because this is the style of board that is understood Man Ray originally designed his set to be shown on and um, you know it's a very straightforward simple um, clear design I'm going to show you the Man Ray pieces on it this set is also specifically authorized licensed um, by Man Ray's trust. In other words, Man Ray is no longer alive, but he uh, has people who are looking out for the well-being of his designs and presumably profiting from their use. Um, so these, you know, that there's a, there's a very clear, you know, uh, streamlined aesthetic here. The pieces also look very good on this this board. I've noticed that there's a slight, this one's a, a little bit more um, gloss. They're both considered to be a matte finish. This one's a little more shiny than this one. You see the grain 
is a little bit the, the grain is different the tone is a little different and but that can vary from board to board also um, in either case a modern set like this is going to look uh, fantastic on a frameless board either with or without the you know variation on the edge there let me just show you a few other sets on these boards just so you can see you know, get a real visual on them. The first thing of course is these boards are perfectly standard and excellent for a standard Staunton set. So here's some typical Staunton pieces. They're actually designed after the pieces that Fisher and Spassky used in their famous match of 1972. That's a very good looking um, arrangement. These these pieces on these on this board. Likewise, they look very good on this board as well. These these are by the way two inch squares. We call them two inch. They're actually five centimeters, which is just shy of two inches. We call it two inch because that's using our system. That's as close as you know you can reasonably come. I mean, when I look at this, I actually see it as one inch and. 17, oh, 15 sixteenths, okay? So, close enough. Either one, you measure, uh, you can actually measure and you see it doesn't come out to 16 inches, it comes out to almost five and three quarters inches. Same thing with this one, by the way, almost five and three quarter inches. So, there's a little information for you comparing the English system that we use in the U.S. versus the metric system that is used in the world. Okay, as I was saying, very good standard set. Um, the theme, of course, is minimalist and streamlined. So let's just look at a few different styles of pieces. This is known as the hourglass figure set. Very often put on a board like this. Very lovely design. You know, it's, it's a beautiful shape any way you look at it. And uh, they look good on a minimalist board, of course. Um, oops. Let me look at... Uh, well, this is what I call the uh, New Galaxy set. It's, you know, streamlined, simplified set. This one's a little bit smaller size. It fits very well on a 2-inch board. 5 centimeter board as we have established. Very nice new Galaxy set. Also looks splendid of course on the Man Ray set. Um, this is a shisham wood also known as honey rosewood or golden rosewood. Um, you see it's you know kind of brown in the golden tones. Um, boxwood is always the preferred wood for um, the white pieces or for stained dark pieces. So this is the New Galaxy style set. Let me show you another set on this board, on these boards. I call this the, um, let's see, Modern Gothic because it's Obviously a modern set, but it's got this kind of gothic feel of spires and sort of helmets is, is kind of an uh, image I get from it. Modern gothic. Looks splendid on a board like this. Of course, same thing on the original Man Ray set. Of course, uh, <clears throat> something that you, some information that you may have been waiting for. These boards, which are very similar, are very different in price. This board costs a little over three times as much as this board. So, uh, you know, where money is an object, um, this one's coming in at a much lower price, of course. This one is the one that is authorized by Man Ray's estate. So, if you liked Man Ray just the way he meant to be, and you're already spending almost $400 on an authentic Man Ray set, maybe you want to spend the extra, or 
maybe you want to say, I've already spent so much on the set, I don't want to spend that much on the board too. So, however you look at it. Authorized and more pricey. Let me show you a few more sets. This is a very nice set. I call this um, the modern cubist set for obvious reasons. It's The shapes are based on the form of cubes. You may be interested to know that although this is um, <clears throat> obviously a very geometric, geometrically themed set, it's not made by total geometric machinery. And so if you look at the pieces carefully, you'll see um, some asymmetry in these things. They're really you know, hand done. They're, you know, hand sanded, hand sawed. And so um, it's kind of interesting because most of the sets I'm showing you are clearly machine done in every aspect. So, but a very, very lovely set, very popular set nonetheless. The Cubist set. Looks marvelous on a board like this. Cubes, baby. Squares and cubes. But of course, uh, the other is uh, smooth and rounded forms and cubes. Here, Here we have the champagne flute set, named obviously for the uh, elegant wine glass style. Sort of looks look like tulips in a way. Little flowers sprouting up out of their bases. Another set that really shines on the frameless modern style board. And finally, uh, this is known as the Abstract Abbey set. So called because the pieces are clearly, you know, abstracted geometric forms, but they also give the feeling of a kind of cloistered um, cloistered figures with robes, you know. So anyway, abstract Abbey set. Once again, very natural for frameless board like this. Uh, frameless boards also come in alabaster, they come in other colors. You know, I'm showing you the, you know, the black stain versus, um, you know, unfinished or unstained wood, um, partly because that's sort of the main theme of modern boards, and partly because that is the choice of the Man Ray board specifically. So, thanks very much. This has been AncientChess.com, looking at modern frameless chess boards and some of the sets that go naturally on those. Please uh, give us a thumbs up for a like if you do like, and um, check out some more of our videos.